What's going on guys? It's your boy Baby Broly back at it with another video and today we have a random pack opening for y'all. Shout out to Game On out of South Hill Puyallup. You guys came in clutch for this video. I was looking for these specific special edition packs so I can open a variety of packs on the channel. So we managed to acquire some of these packs. Specifically, Rising Rampage, Dark Neo Storm, and Ignition Assault. And I also decided to pick up three Eternity Code Booster Packs. I saw them at the front as I was checking out and I was like, why not pick up three packs considering we don't have a special edition pack for the Eternity Code. So why not pick up three booster packs to test our luck. As you guys already know, if you watched previous videos, We've opened up an Eternity Code booster box on the channel, and I actually have more to open here in the future. Some of you guys also have been asking if I'm going to be opening up the new Toon Chaos booster box. I will be. I believe it releases on Friday the 18th, but I don't think I'm going to get it by then. I'm probably going to get it a few days after, if anything. Definitely be on the lookout for that video. And I'm excited to open that booster box. I'm not excited enough to buy, say, three, four, five boxes, but I'm definitely going to buy one to open up on the channel. You guys have requested it. Some of you guys have been asking me if I'm going to get it, and I definitely will be at least opening up one box. Now, if it becomes worth the while, I might acquire another box. But as of right now, I'm only expecting to get one box to open up on the channel. So hopefully we get it a few days after the release, and then we can go ahead and open it on the channel. Now before I begin the video, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe and definitely give me a thumbs up on the channel. It's going to help out the channel tremendously. Make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you guys aren't missing anything when I upload. All right, well, let's get to it guys. Let's see what kind of luck we're going to get. So we're going to start off with, I'll tell you what, we're going to start off with Dark Neil Storm just because I haven't opened up many of these. So why not start off opening the pack that I have yet to open? So so far with me, when it comes to opening up, you know, special edition packs and blister packs, I'm more in favor of just opening up a booster box. Now everybody has their different preferences, but so far in the past month, month. A little bit over a month of collecting. I've had a little bit better luck with opening booster boxes than I have with blisters, like especially with the Eternity Code. I haven't seen very many videos of people pulling good cards out of blister packs, especially out of the Eternity Code, but I mean, hey, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just, I don't know, maybe it's like, maybe it's just a little bit more rare for you to pull. Um, good cards out of blister packs, I don't know. Everybody has their, their different opinions and, and some people pull some really good cards out of the blister packs. For me, I just have yet to do so, so I'm probably just a little biased. So we're gonna go ahead and open up these Dark Neo Storms first. Actually, you know what? There's two variant cards in this pack. It's a special edition, so it comes with, uh, it comes with two of four super rare variant cards. So that's for all of these special edition boxes. So let's see what we get out of the Dark Neo Storm. So right here we got Fury of Fire and a Magicalized Fusion. Very, very beautiful cards, both spell cards. And let's see what we get out of these packs. Alright, so we got Destiny Hero Draw Hand, Alter Geist, Drag Virion, Assault Mode Zero, Ooh, Mayakashi Winter, nice super, a Whitefish Salvage, Stand In, Loud Cloud the Storm Serpent, Cybris Reminder, and a Dino Wrestler Chimera T Rextal. Rextal. So you guys, you guys tell me, do you guys prefer these special edition boxes or do you guys prefer opening up, say, a first edition booster box? 
because I believe, yeah, these, these booster packs are first edition. They come with a special edition box because you get the two variant cards, but I think I prefer booster boxes over special edition boxes. That's, that's just me. Cause you do have a choice when you're, when you're shopping online and you're, you're getting ready to buy booster packs. You can either choose to spend $80 on a 10 box set of a special edition of say Ignition Assault, or you can buy a booster box with 24 booster packs in a box for $80. Like generally what I've seen is that they're the same price, but with the special edition, you get 10, you get 10 boxes and there's three packs per box. There's three packs per box, so essentially you're getting more packs, but essentially you're getting more packs than you would if you were to buy booster box because you would only get 24. Nice, large flame. So you go, you would end up getting 30 packs. So you would think that you know you would have the higher chance of pulling something good, but I mean honestly, do you? I mean you guys comment. Leave a comment in the comment section below. What do you guys prefer? Do you guys prefer opening up special edition boxes or do you guys prefer opening up booster boxes? For me so far, I think I would go with booster boxes all the way just because, you know, with booster boxes, you have, you have a ratio that you can work with and you're, you're more likely guaranteed to pull, say, four ultra rares out of a booster box or whatever the case may be. So when it comes to special edition boxes, you just don't really know. Ultra guys, Haunted Rock, Creator, the implication, Im, Incantation Originator. I don't know, I couldn't see that. Cloudian Aerosol, Diamond Wrestler, Colasalat, Colasalat, Mayakashi Winter, another one. Diamond Wrestler, Giga, Spinal Savate, Diamond Wrestler, oh, there's a lot of Diamond Wrestlers in here. Definitely suited for the Dino's deck profile. All right, next one we're gonna go with Ignition Assault. Ignition Assault's a, a, a really good pack too. I mean, some people have pulled some good cards, some people haven't, so they have their mixed feelings about it. Um, obviously with the Ignition Assault, we want to pull a Lightning Storm, whether it's a Starlight Rare or a Ultra rare, I think it's ultra rare, or secret rare, right? Secret rare. Um, you know, if we can pull that card, that'd be awesome. But I don't, personally, I don't know if we can pull one out of these special edition packs because I think it's just a little bit more hard to do, if not impossible. So here's our three packs and our, wait, two variant. Oh, I thought I was missing a card. Two variant cards, so we got Unchained Twins, Sorama, and Cyburst Accelerator. That's a nice card. Non first edition packs, but it's okay. Hopefully they can pull something. Let's see. Donya Robi or Donya Robo, adding Mister Megalith Emergence. Time Thief, Chrono Quarter, Battle Survivor, and ooh, Karakuri Super Shogun MDL on Iribu. That's a ridiculous name. And got a rare Sky Striker Maneuver, Scissors Cross, Doshin, Dragon Maid Sundown, and Head Judging. Oops, sorry. I think I just bumped the camera. I'm excited for a lot of a lot of uh, new additions that are coming out. So we got what I believe the uh, um, we got Toon Chaos coming out, right? We also have Rise of the Duelist, which is coming out in August, I believe. I think there's a few other ones that are coming out. I haven't really been keeping tabs like that, but I, you know I feel like I should be and I will be. But I mean, there's some good ones coming out and I'm looking forward to it. There's the new 2020 10 that's coming out as well. I'm definitely going to be getting that. There's a lot of good cards in that pack or in that, that 10. So we got right here, Utgarda, Generator Boss of Delusion. We had yet to pull an Ultra Rare. Fire Phoenix, Adding Mister, Megalith Portal, 
Megalith, Bethor, uh, Fedrin, the Winds of Mischief, and Cupid Surf. So we have yet to pull an ultra rare. We've pulled pretty much all super rares. Even our variant cards are super rares. Let's see if we can at least pull an ultra rare or something better. But I mean, I'm not putting my hopes too high. If we can pull an ultra rare, I think I'll be happy. So we got Squeak Knight, Disposable Learner Device, Megalith, Haggith, Gravity Controller, and there you go. There you go. I asked for an ultra rare and we get it. Blackbeard, the Plunder Patrol Captain. Probably not one of the greatest ultra rares, but it's okay. It's an ultra rare. They answered my call. Evacella Lutia, Megalith Portal, Execution of the Contract, and Water Leviathan Adding Minister. This is actually a really cool looking card. Kind of reminds me of like Gyarados from Pokemon. All right, last special edition box. Rising Rampage. I actually like this this pack. I mean, I haven't pulled anything great from Rising Rampage, but I just, for whatever reason, Rising Rampage seems to catch my attention when I'm searching for packs. We're still in search for Appaloosa, so hopefully we'll get that one day. All right, here's our two variant cards. We have Marensis and Wonderheart and Marincis Battle Ocean. Marincis cards are really good too. I have a lot of people that I've talked to that really enjoy the Marincis deck profile. Let's see what we can get out of these Rising Rampage Beach Packs. Number 29, Mannequin Cat. Rescue Interlacer. Dream Mirror Fantasy. Ooh, Witchcrafter Golem Araru. Oh, we've pulled her before. We definitely pulled her before. Yeah, I think we pulled her during our um, our booster box opening of Rise of Rampage. But still, nonetheless, this is a very good pull. It's a secret. So I can't really complain. We got Flawless Perfection of the Tenyi. Some more Repulsion, Reptilian Lamia, Draw Discharge, and Cross Debug. So, so far we've pulled an Ultra Rare and a Secret Rare. Not too bad. Got Marincess Current. Some more Gonslap. You'll send you Wind Worship. Some more Bird Protection and. Mayu Senju Hita, we've also pulled him. Tenyu Spirit, Vishida, Link Back, DMZ Dragon, and Blockout Curtain. One last pack of Rising Rampage. Marinsa Sea Star. Some more Sky Battle. Yosenju Sabu. Dream Mirror of Terror. Tenny Spirit. Some more Repulsion. Kiki Nagashi Fucho. Fucho. Rogue of Eddie Mian. Dino Wrestler Ram, Ram Braccio. And there you guys have it. That's the last pack from Rising Rampage. Now we're going to open our Eternity Code Booster Packs. The likeliness of we're going to pull anything good is slim to none. But hey, if we can pull a freaking secret, that would be insane. Like absolutely insane. But nine times out of ten, we're probably going to pull a, a super rare. So here we go. Super Heavy Samurai Wagon. Proxy F Magician. Stairs of Mail. Golden Hair, the newest Plunder Patrol, and Plunder Patrol Ship Shape Ships Shipping. Two more packs, guys.
Unchained Twins, Sorama, Trias, Hyrachia, Deep Sea Artisan, yeah, cute, and, ooh, we got another one of these bad boys. This is a very nice pull. I mean, we got we got an ultra rare. I, I can't really complain. We got an ultra rare out of this, and it's the big old crocodile. I mean, I can't even be mad about that. That's a very good card. Very good card. All right, last pack. Wrath, the Ghost Pirate, Necro Quip Prism, Code Breaker Zero Day, Evil Eye Emergence, and Marincess and Great Bubble Reef. Knock the Vision Dragon, Flourishing Frolic, Tatui Dragon, and Parallel Exit. So we got another Parallel Exit. Not a bad common. All right, guys, so the luck wasn't there today. We ended up pulling one ultra rare out of the three special edition packs. We pulled an ultra rare for one of our, one of our Eternity Code booster packs, which is not bad because the booster boxes are, are so full of super rares. Like we probably more than likely would have pulled all three super rares, but we ended up pulling a, an ultra rare, which is pretty good. Because literally when I grabbed the packs, I just grabbed the first three that I saw that was in the display box that was at the front. So, But we did pull a secret. Not the best secret, but a secret nonetheless. Uh, witchcraft, Golem, or Aru. Alright guys, that's going to end the video. The luck just wasn't there today, but that's okay. We had fun nonetheless. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, thank you for the support. If you guys want to continue supporting the channel, make sure you guys hit that like button, and also subscribe if you guys have not subscribed already. That is all you have to do to support the channel, and I will be producing more content here soon, so definitely stay tuned. Definitely stay tuned for that Tune Chaos box opening, and yeah, until the next video, I love you guys. Peace.